Friday, March 16th, 10 a.m. Mountain Time, 2018. Guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at another live stream feed, a segment of the feed. Uh, this was sent to me by Harry on Wednesday. Actually, he sent this to me yesterday. Um, it's a clip from Wednesday, March 14th. So it's a little less than 48 hours old. Looks like the space station is traveling towards the south, towards Antarctica. What we see in the video clip from the International Space Station, um, it appears to be showing us what uh, looks like a big crack in the ice, ice shelf of Antarctica. I couldn't locate it on Google Earth, um, but it does show up crystal clear in this video. I'm going to go ahead and start it right now. Again, this is from Wednesday, March 14th, 2018. The sun's over here on the left. So more than likely it's traveling south, coming down this way, the sun being over here. All right, see the shelf? And that's ice. Notice the crack. I'm going to pause this just for a second. Based off of what we know with regard to the space station, it's, what, 400 kilometers in the uh, air, in the atmosphere, so it's, or above the atmosphere, it's about, what, a couple hundred miles, let's say. If you take those numbers and go a couple hundred miles, and we'll show you down here in the lower left-hand corner our altitude. Uh, you can't see it in the video, but we are at 288. Right now we're at... 173. Okay, right here is a couple hundred miles. So this is basically what we're kind of looking at from the space station. So if we measure, I want to show you what 50 miles looks like on here. If I measure just from here to here, just that little area right there is 50 miles when you're viewing from 200 miles in the sky. So that little segment is 50 miles. Just remember that, okay? 50 miles. So here we go, back to the video. This is from Wednesday, March 14th. Look at this crack. And remember what I just measured on Google Earth. About the same length, right? Pretty close to 50 miles, approximately. It's like a big shelf calving right there. It's like a big iceberg starting to form. Okay, and it gets up to a certain point, and then the camera switches feeds. And I left it in the video just as it was recording. There it is. See, right? When it got above the crack, it switched feeds. So what I've done is added a close-up segment. I took an edit to the video. That was the original. I've added a close-up of the crack, as close as I could get. This looks fairly tall here. It's a steep edge. Based off of what I just measured on Google Earth, that appears to be close to the 50 mile range. Pretty good distance, pretty good size crack. And what I do is invert the lighting so you can see there's a shadow here inside the crack is a shadow itself everything is uh, everything else is illuminated from the sunlight once i invert the contrast you'll see just you get a better perspective of the crack you'll be able to see how how wide it actually is it's a pretty good size okay here's where i invert it so this was the shadow now the light turns to darkness and there's the the crack decent size. This was recorded from the International Space Station on Wednesday, March 14th, 
sometime in the early morning hours, I think, based off of just off of the position of the sun. It looks like it was recorded in the morning. Here are some still shots from that video clip. That definitely looks like a large crack somewhere in Antarctica. I could not find the exact location. So thank you, Harry, for sharing that video with us. Again, this is from the International Space Station, Wednesday, March 14th. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a super day, and be safe out there.